has this been solid? And how about today for Capcom Cup itself? Has it been good? Have you enjoyed yourselves? Let me hear that. I think Come on, guys. We are good. we are coming in the grand finals. Daigo Umahara versus Kazunoko. Let's hear it. Grand finals. Capcom Cup 2015. Let's go. Two of the best players that we could have in this situation. We already saw Kazunoko send Daigo to losers 3-0 very dominantly. As you said, he won the previous that they had 7-0. If he were to win this three in a row, he would have a 13-0 in his last 13 games. But here comes Daigo. He got one good read on the up kicks. Wow. I got him as I was supposed to be an uppercut. Uh, you're probably right. But it worked. It was cool. Wow, just goes in for a low. Look at the sequence from Kazunoko. Goes for a regular throw. Beautiful stand short, but... Kazunoko making this comeback again. He did this so many times. No juggle, because that was a juggle ultra. Right. Oh, and that command. He's had the read for the command throw versus Daigo over and over and over again. And you know, a lot of the command grabs that he brings out are not just in a random, you know, meaty command grab. It's... Let's press a, bus a couple of buttons and see if the opponent is jumping or not. Not? Okay, command grab. Right. It's, it's sort of a grab confirmed. It's really cool. And just at these ranges where you just don't think it's going to happen. But Daigo, once again, looking strong at the start, but he started so many rounds this way. Mm -hmm. Only to have Kazunoko make this ridiculous comeback. Yeah, last one as well. Oh. I, you know, like we were saying before, oh, well, that's really How unfortunate did that? for Kazunoko. I'm not sure. That's, that's bad news for him. Good job to Daigo to capitalize. But I like how Daigo is playing in the neutral game, I think. I, I think he's doing pretty well there, but when he gets knocked down, he this just is getting lit up. Kazunoko threatening to get in, and when he jumped forward, Daigo had the counter in on, this, on the dive kick as well. That's the kind of stuff that Daigo needs, it's just that on top of that, he also has to get those mix-ups right. Right. Daigo, you can definitely see where he's focusing his game. He is focusing on countering the dive kick and, and, and being aware of the jumps. That is where he is. Yeah, see, he goes right into the air. Oh, just a bad distance so that the cross-up missed allowed Kazunoko to get that punish when he landed. Love that block from Daigo there, just playing very patiently. He knows the threat right now. Oh, oh wow! Great reaction to get the juggle, but here we go! Oh, he's gonna go Ganagin! He's gonna wow. go for old school style! And, and a juggle, of course. Is that gonna be enough? It might be! Not quite. Chip. Oh, he went in. Look, I love the wake up on Daigo. I think that was so smart to try the wake up crouching medium kick. It could have turned into a lot of damage, and he was just a couple of frames away from making it work. But but that's the second time Kazunoko's gone for that meaty kill with the lunge punch. Right. And the second time that Daigo did not have the wake up uppercut on it. Kazunoko just going in there, no fear. It just feels like Kazunoko has been able to get away a lot from when Daigo wants to get in, and on the other side, it has not been the same. It's been the opposite. And he, like I said, he has just been so perfect on his command grabs. He has landed it pretty much every time he's wanted it. Okay, Daigo with the media fireball. Yep, good spacing for him, good timing for him. And Daigo with the control there. Oh, jump toward. Actually, that was not a great trade for him. Oh, but I love that anti air fireball. Oh, and Kazunoko just goes right in there with that lunge. And Daigo oh. patient. Oh, not in time. Oh my wow. god, just caught him right on the toes. Daigo just pressed the button too early. Kazunoko with the mix up in timing is really what that was. Oh, beautiful focus. Punished through the shoulder. Knows that's not a true block string. Trying to keep the pressure going. Okay. Kazunoko crouch tech is a pretty good situation for himself. Nice struggle though. Here's Daigo. Oh, he not Daigo, the yeah. Not this time. Daigo with the patience. This is the last round. Fight! Oh, wow. What's next? Kazunoko now with the knockdown. Okay. okay. okay you wait. see how Daigo getting away, right? He just wanted to play very safety. Yeah, he didn't even try to hit confirm that uppercut. That was instant back dash. Oh, 
just a little bit off on the distance. And oh, Kazunoko with a combo drop. Let's see Daigo with all those dashes. Push him in the corner. Wow, Daigo's now gone to manic wake up uppercut mode. Oh, why not? EX. It's an up. Wow, and Daigo finally stops the streak from Kazunoko. Dating all the way back to Topanga A-League, Kazunoko had won 11 in a row on yeah. Daigo. He, he's not going to get 13 0 No, no. <laughs> Ooh! That short dive kick. Okay, frame trap with a low strong. Oh, first time Daigo has gotten away from that command throw. What a great read in that situation. Mm, this time. Here he is. Looks like Daigo waking up a little bit in this matchup. Oh, yeah, Kazunoko says, you know what? You're going a little crazy. It's time for me to punish that. That delay on that dive kick is just so good. Well timed. Yeah, and also remember, guys, Daigo has to win two sets of three out of five to take this because he's coming from loser's bracket. Oh, no, Daigo with a combo drop. Again with the combo drop. That was huge. And that 50% life loss was really because of that. Oh, and there's that command throw again. Daigo trying to outrange just oh. a different time than he expected. Again, how many times does that happen where Kazunoko has been able to find the hit even though Daigo has had a counter that would work at you know, the timing that Daigo expects? Right. But that Kazunoko brings out a different timing. But Kazunoko now at tournament game to take Capcom Cup and win $120,000. He's right there, but Daigo oh, is going to do his best Daigo. to reset this and take it to a final set. Oh, wow. And Daigo was walking forward into that, actually. Great block, great DP. Daigo maybe getting some reads. Daigo realized from the first set that they played that his really super careful style was not going to do it. And yeah, he has a better read on, read on Kazunoko's rhythms now. It really looks like it. Oh, that's Oh, bad. yeah. But not a terrible punish. Right. Still with three bars is Daigo. Still very dangerous. Kazunoko's about to get it. He has three bars now. Ooh, oh, really wake, wake up, up huh? hop kick. You don't see that very often. And Max nice knew it! Daigo is gonna tie it up two to two here in this last set. He's trying to reset the bracket. Can he do it? Or will Kazunoko win this game and take Capcom Cup right here, right now? I do really like a lot of the adjustments that Daigo has made. We've seen this work for him more, the, the that sort of neutral game, but now he is yeah, he's, he's less Scary. He's more fearless, and I feel like that's Im an important tool against Kazunoko. Oh, look, yeah, look at this. Daigo looks like he's just getting everything at this point. That said, Kazunoko is not getting dissuaded from doing what he wants to do. Oh yeah, you see him looking, hoping that Daigo does the air-to-airs. Oh, what yep. a nice air-to-air -air for him himself. Oh, Daigo! Oh, stand forward. Three bars though on deck. Three bars on deck for Kazunoko. Can he find the hit? Ooh. Can he find the hit? He just needs one. He just needs one. Daigo! Oh, there it is. Daigo gets that uppercut in. Now he's at match point to send Kazunoko into loser's bracket and reset this tournament. Yeah, this is set point here. Can he accept? Oh, oh, really? Oh, Daigo tried to catch that beautiful block. Very smart stuff. Oh, but here comes Kazunoko. Yes, he's got the stun. He should be able to take maybe this round. No, no not he's quite. Need a reset. There it is. There it is. The command throw every time when he's needed it. So now, now it's set point for both, and that means it's tournament point for Kazunoko. And he does get there on a perfect. What's going to happen here? And he's going to start with the red focus Great combo. Great for him, but now Daigo's caught in the corner and getting caged. Great read. So right, good Daigo. damage there without spending any meter yet. But I'm gonna... no, he, he did try to go in. There's the air to air again. Kazunoko with the juggle. Bad look now for and Daigo. The now, it. And that's going to do it. Kazunoko has taken Capcom 20. Capcom yeah. Cup 2015. He is your champion.
for potentially one of the last great major Ultra Street Fighter 4 tournaments. Kazunoko made it through a, a field of 32 players that were that got themselves here over a nine month span of tournament season. Kazunoko, the victor here for Capcom Cup. We have seen him win tournaments this year, but it doesn't get any bigger than this. Winning Capcom Cup 2015, the culmination, of, as you said, of a year of training, of traveling, of qualifying, 